He was a longtime businessman and a philanthropist. Some people say he was a pillar of his community in Chickasaw County. Hassel Franklin died at 87 years old this weekend in hospice care. WTVA's Ethan Foster spent the day in Houston talking with people about what Mr. Franklin meant to their community. Ethan joins us live with the story. Well, right now I'm live in Houston behind me is the Welcome Center for the Franklin Corporation's plant here in Houston. Of course, we're talking about its founder, Hassel Franklin, known for his furniture nationwide. But of course, there's more to him than just that. Guys, we just lost a great man. We really did. Hassel Franklin will be remembered for his furniture manufacturing company, the Franklin Corporation. But that was just one way he helped Houston grow. You know, he's helped change the quality of life for many people, and we can't thank him enough. Houston Mayor Stacy Parker says his family is a prime example. His mom and dad drove trucks for Franklin for over 20 years. It helped, you know, indirectly. Uh, it affected my life, what he helped create from that one manager, one owner, few employees that grew to 1600. But to the people in Houston, Hassel Franklin was more than just a successful businessman. He was someone who cared. But as far as getting, he would, he would inquire what you need and he would try to help you. For his workers, he was a leader. I think when you work for someone, then you really begin to understand what kind of person he is. And uh, Asa Franklin was a fine Christian man who lived his faith on a daily basis. And for others, a sense of hope in hard times. As long as you knew Mr. Franklin was there, you didn't worry. You knew he was going to make it happen. He was just that kind of man. From creating the Pace Foundation to sponsoring the Houston Solar Car team and sharing his money with so many others, Hassel Franklin's legacy won't soon be forgotten. I will say this, you know, on behalf of the great city of Houston, uh, we're proud that uh, Mr. Franklin was part of our journey. Well, after talking with Miss Jeannie just through those doors behind me, I can tell you that the funeral arrangements for Mr. Franklin have been set. His funeral will be this Friday, that's January 27th, at 1 o'clock at Gloucester Street Church of Christ in Tupelo. Visitation will be from 11 to 1. Reporting live in Houston, Ethan Foster for WTVA 9 News.